What's going on guys, Juice Mercy here and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. And today is going to be Saturday the 15th of June. Got confirmed as to go through as well as the rumors. So just before we get started, if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yes, this episode will be down below in the description box. Our current schedule every day at 8am UK times a new transfer upload. And in the comments section below, who's going to win the Copper America this summer? Right, let's jump into the confirmed deals. And first up, we've got a goalkeeper called Tata Rasanu going to Leon. It's from a fellow league on side, FC Nantes, on a free deal, and I believe it's their first signing of the summer. The former Chelsea midfielder Ramirez has joined Brazilian side Palmeiras on a free deal because he was a free agent. The last club he played for was Jiangsu Suning in the CSL, and now he's a free after leaving the side back in May. And he's a FIFA Ultimate Team legend, and for foot purposes, because he's not in a league that's actually properly licensed anymore, we might not see him in the game again. Like I was really hoping to get a flashback card on FIFA 19 if they added him to the game in the CSL, but unfortunately it never happened. Then we have got Pierre Gabriel going to Mines in the Bundesliga from Monaco, that's a 6 million euro fee. Bongonda has joined a CRC, or KRC gang should I say, from Zult Wargem, that's a 7 million euro fee for him. Leuven has joined Hertha Berlin from Nuremberg for again 7 million euro fee, and a very interesting one now, and it's going to be Real Madrid's sixth signing of the summer already, and that is at Takafusa Kubo. The young Japanese international who's just 18 years old has joined Real Madrid Castilla, which is their youth team um, from FC Tokyo, and they spent 2 million euros on him. Um, like I said, he's an 18 year old Japanese starlet who left Barcelona's La Masia Academy back in 2015. And he is dubbed as the Japanese Messi. We'll have to wait and see if it comes true or not. Um, but given the fact he played for Barca and now Real Madrid, like I said before, it's very interesting. And next up, according to RMC, they're saying PSG have agreed to sell 19 year old versatile French attacker Moussa Diaby to buy Leverkusen. They're set to pay 15 million euros as a fee, plus a 20% sell on clause percentage. Now, I put in the confirmed section despite it not being fully announced just yet, and I record this video on Friday at 1 pm um, and nothing is official. But as of this article, it does say he's expected to arrive in Germany today or yesterday for the video and sign a five year contract. Another deal that hasn't been announced just yet, but I've put as a confirmed deal, is Maurizio Sarri. And the reason for that is because pretty much every single outlet now is saying he's gone to Juventus and it should have been announced yesterday. He'll sign a three-year contract and Chelsea will receive more than £5 million in compensation. Again, they say a deal will be announced in the next 24 hours and they expect Frank Lampard to become Chelsea's first English manager in 23 years. It was a pretty mixed year at Chelsea for Mauricio Sarri because yes, he did win the Europa League and got to the Carabao Cup final. He also secured them a top four finish, which was seen quite unlikely at one point. But now, obviously, he's left the club or will be leaving the club and the, the fans really didn't like him too much at one point. But next up, according to The Independent, they're saying Arsenal are closing in on a deal for Wonderkid goalkeeper Marcus Schubert. It'll be a free transfer from German side Dinamo Dresden, and he's set to replace Petr Cech as Leno's number two. UOL are saying that Everton lead the race for Ajax star David Neres. That's over Paris Saint-Germain and the other teams interested. PSG have reportedly met with the agent of Neres, but he's believed to be in favour of a move to the Premier League instead, and it could cost the Blues over £40 million this window. And Everton did show that last summer when they signed Richarlison from Watford for 50 mil, they're not really too worried about spending too much money, and to be fair, Neres could be a very good option. And next up, according to the Daily Mirror, they are saying Arsenal midfielder Lucas Torreira is contemplating his Arsenal future after admitting he is struggling to adapt to life in England. Once he settled into the Arsenal team last season, he impressed a lot, um, but at one point, I think after Christmas, it went a bit quiet. Now, for his future, it doesn't say where he could potentially be going, but he did say a couple months ago that long down the line, like down his career, he wants to go to Boca Juniors. And I forgot to mention at the start of the episode, if I sound really like bunged up and also really croaky, it's because right now my hay fever is really, really bad. Uh, but next up, according to Kelsey Mercato, they're saying Roma are looking to sign Leroy Fur to replace Daniele De Rossi. With De Rossi gone and Steven and Zonzi also possibly on the move, Roma are in need of midfielder reinforcements. Fur would come in on a free transfer as his contract with Swansea City expires on June 30th. 
And now we have got Adrian Rabio, who surprisingly so far still hasn't signed a new team despite his contract with PSG expiring very soon. Uh, but Corridor Sport are saying PSG contract rebel Rabio has admitted to having held talks with Juventus. While the door has also been left open for a potential move to Manchester United, he told Corriere dello Sport, I've spoken with Juventus, it's a great club where everyone would like to play. And it doesn't really surprise me that quote from him about Juventus because they make a lot of free signings. For example, in the last year alone, they've brought in Emery Chan from Liverpool and most recently Aaron Ramsey from Arsenal. And next up, according to ESPN, the SM Manchester United will not be deterred in their pursuit of Harry Maguire, despite Leicester City's £18 million asking price. Although Man City, their rivals, they have been put off by that price. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is expected to be backed in the transfer window as he attempts to turn around United's miserable fortunes, but Leicester are fully aware of their desperation. Maguire, who is 26, signed a long-term contract with the Foxes in October, and they are under no pressure whatsoever to sell for anything less than a huge fee. Now, the fee itself does seem very, very, very high, but I'm not going to judge it and if it does happen kind of thing, because people done the exact same with Van Dijk a year and a half ago, and look how that turned out. A very short one from Marker in Spain is saying that Real Betis are in talks with Fulham over striker Alexander Mitrovic. He is set to leave the club after relegation and a move to Spain could well be on the cards. And moving on according to Gianluca Damasio, he is saying AC Milan are looking to sign Costas Malas and take advantage of the fact that Roma will have upcoming financial fair play limitations. And that could explain why they might not spend to replace De Rossi from earlier, instead bringing a free transfer like Leroy Fur. Milan are hoping for a lower price on the Greek's 36 million euro release clause, but Roma will not have any discounts. Milan have already contacted his agent to see the availability of the 27 year old. And this story goes into the next one from Gazzetto dello Sport, saying Juventus and Roma could strike up a deal to swap Gonzalo Higuain for Costas Malalas. The Italian outlet claims the striker's valuation matches that of the defender's release clause of 36 mil, and their deal could suit both parties. Edin Dzeko is set to leave Roma to go to Inter Milan and for Manlas, maybe his future could lie elsewhere and he seems to be interested in the prospect of joining Maurizio Sarri. And Roma are actually in this episode quite a bit and this next one's according to Futomac in Turkey. They're saying Esh Roma are interested in signing Loris Karius. The new Roma boss Paolo Fonseca, I push if I said his name wrong, he's reportedly in the market for a new goalkeeper and Karius is said to be an option. The 25-year-old agreed a two-year loan deal with Besiktas last term and impressed during the second half of the campaign. Roma defensively last season, including their goalkeeper, were very, very far off the year before the likes of Alisson in goal and uh, Manlas in top form. And now, according to uh, the player himself, Iosi Perez, he suggested that a long summer could lead him away from Newcastle, with a Spanish forward offering no guarantees amid links to the likes of Tottenham and Valencia. He delivered a personal best 13 goals to the Magpies course last season, sparking talk of a potential first senior international call-up to the Spanish national team. And now we have got a bit of an update from yesterday's story about Nabil Fakir potentially going to Liverpool. And the Independent are saying Liverpool have no plans whatsoever to resurrect a deal for 25-year-old Lyon playmaker Nabil Fakir. That's despite reports to the contrary in France. Now everywhere is saying Liverpool don't want to pay anywhere close to the 50 mil they agreed last summer, but quite possibly if Leon do reduce their asking price to say 25 mil, talks could reopen potentially. Romelu Lukaku has agreed terms with Inter, according to Gazzetta dello Sport. The Manchester United striker has been heavily linked with a summer move to Italy and could soon be joining Antonio Conte at the San Siro. And I could be wrong, but I think I heard somewhere the other day that Lukaku, he did say Conte is the best manager in the world. Rumours are saying United are holding out for 17 million euros if they are to sell him, and uh, Inter do have that kind of cash to spend, so we'll have to wait and see if it progresses, or if Inter do consider a potential swap deal of a player plus cash. And next up, Manchester United are determined to sign Aaron Wan-Bissaka this summer and will make an increased offer a second bid of around £50 million in the coming days. And they say Palace should accept that and the player wants to move. But Sky are suggesting Palace is still holding out for £60 million plus, which it makes sense given that he is currently one of the most talented right backs in the Prem and still very young. And now we have got two different stories about Paul Pogba. First up, linked to Real Madrid, according to L'Equipe. 
They're saying Paul Pogba has zero intention of remaining at Manchester United this summer. And Real Madrid do continue negotiations for Pogba, but two stumbling blocks remain. Number one, increasingly tense Real Madrid representatives and Mina Riola relationship. They don't really get on too well, and it makes sense because Riola has been very, very controversial in the past. And the second stumbling block is Riola's salary demands for Paul Pogba. And a Real Madrid source does say, if we have the opportunity to sign Neymar or Mbappe, that we could discuss giving them 20 million euros a year because they're immense world stars. But a player like Pogba, as good as he is, he needs to think and make those who are advising him think. And I'll keep going to mention that Pogba has been a little taken back by Real Madrid's cold attitude to his salary demands and is warming increasingly to the idea of returning to Juventus. And Sky Italia and Juve Sporting Director Fabio Paratici, or Paratici um, he has travelled to England for talks with Manchester United regarding the Frenchman. United would be holding out for a massive fee in the region of 150 mil, and if they do sell Lukaku as well for 70 mil, they have a lot of money to spend this summer. And West Ham have now just announced they're signing a Spaniard Pablo Fornals from Villarreal. It's a £24 million fee and he signed a five-year contract. But that, guys, is going to be it for this video. So if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yes, there's episode will be down below in the description box, and current schedule every day at 8am UK times a new transfer episode. And finally, in the comments section below, what nation is going to win the Copper America this summer? So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.